guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So, on uh, one of my recent lives, I tried an acrylic pour over a snowflake ornament. Now, the ornament didn't lay flat, so it didn't work the best. So, we're trying it with another ornament I just picked up from the dollar store. And this one seems to lay pretty flat. So, I'm going to give it a go. I'm using white, blue, purple, and gold. Um, yeah. Could go with the traditional red and green, but that can sometimes make colors you may not want. So, making my own Christmas colors. Actually, with blue, I usually use silver, but I don't have silver mixed up. <laughs> Anyways, when I did this on my recent live video, it actually worked better than I thought it would. But I think this one's going to work even better. I'm going to center it best as I can. It did have a little hook thing that I cut off. It was just glued on. So I'm going to start in the middle. And long story short, the purpose of this is not to paint the um, ornament. It's to create a really cool pattern with the ornament. That is the idea. Kind of like a bottle bottom pour. But instead it's a snowflake pour. <laughs> so I'm going to let this kind of just keep going for a minute all on its own. And once it seems to have slowed down, I'll pull it off. And we'll go ahead and see what we've got. Alright. I'm going to gently pull this up. So if anything, we're going to get a super cool ornament out of this. Look how awesome that is. I think I might like this better than the bottle bottom pour. Because you don't have that awkward circle in the middle. So I'm just going to gently rotate this. I usually end up running off one side more than another, but we'll see. I'm definitely liking this pattern. So I'm just kind of going towards the corners and then back to the middle. Um, I have had a lot of suggestions of using Lazy Susan, which is definitely an option. But um, I think with what I'm hoping to go, the look I'm hoping to get with this, I think this is working out very well. Okay, I do have a few kind of side spots that were missed here. And one corner over here I'm going to tilt a little bit more towards. On this one, I'm going to break my usual form and have it centered like that. I actually really like that. And I like how we have the four corners here. So I'm going to let this sit. We're going to see anything that may or may not develop. And then we'll come in and do our close-up. Okay, we're back. It looks like not too much moving around. Let's go ahead and do our close-up. So guys, I am hoping that you love this as much as I do. I think it's so gorgeous. Look at the, this is the um, lower right hand corner. So I, we did maintain the lines there. Love this middle part. And I'm super happy with this color combo. Upper right hand corner. Really cool lines in there. Moving up to the upper left hand corner. down to the lower left hand corner and our center which still has that like snowflake shape plus like I said we got a really cool ornament out of it too 
And I think even if I if I wanted to, I could probably glue that back onto the center after it dried and it would make a really cool mixed media piece. <laughs> All right, guys, I really hope you love this. I'm so in love with this piece. We'll dub this the snowflake pour. <laughs> I just got this at the Dollar Tree, okay? But, you know, just go to your local dollar store and find any kind of snowflake shape and have fun with it. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.